So for this episode, um, I wanted to try out a new film stock. I was back home in my uh, in my hometown Bedford for a couple of days, and I wanted to shoot something while I was there, but didn't really have anything in mind. So I thought it would be a really good opportunity to take my RB67 out um, and try a film stock that I've never shot before. So. I have shot Lomography films before, which is what I'm dealing with today. I've shot their 400 speed film a couple of times on 35mm, but it's really just been chucking it through kind of point and shoots. Um, it's never been a film I've given much time to, and I thought I would, um, partly because supposedly the uh, Kodak film prices are going to go up in the new year, in 2020, um, and Lomography films are still very, very reasonably priced. And partly just because I wanted to see if I could get a different look to Portra, which is what I shoot 90% of the time for colour. Um, so I picked up a 3-pack of their 100 speed film. It cost me, I think, £18 from the Photographer's Gallery in London. Um, so really, really cheap compared to uh, Portra, which is, I guess, 21, 22 for 3 rolls. Um, so a reasonable difference, and I thought I'd take it out. From what I've heard, it's pretty high saturation, it's pretty brightly coloured, which kind of unsurprising from a Lomography film, um, but apparently it is very fine grained, it has got a decent exposure, latitude has got a good dynamic range to it, um, I've heard really good things about it, so I'm going to go and shoot some photos and, and have a chat about them. So one of the key things I was doing when I was shooting this film is trying to kind of push the limits of this film and really feel out where it fits into my photography. So this high saturation people are talking about worried me a bit. Um, I'm a big fan of softer, more kind of muted tones, more pastel -y tones. Um, things like Ektar, those high saturation, things like slide film, have never really done it for me quite as much. Um, so I want to try and get some sort of high saturation scenes, see how it deals with colour, as well as some less saturated, more kind of flat scenes, um, and just see how it deals with different scenarios, how it deals with low contrast, high contrast situations. Um, and just experiment a little bit. So this next photo coming up here of this blue chair, uh, this white chair on the blue background, um, perfect example of where I wanted to see how it kind of reacts to brighter saturated colours against duller colours. Um, so the actual negative of this file had a little bit of a kind of blue cast to it, it did take a bit of tweaking. But actually in the end I was really happy with the tones that came out of it, I was really happy with the colours, it was very manageable. Um, I thought that it was going to be too much. This next one coming here though um, is one where I don't really like it quite as much. Um, so there's that green and blue, they're a little bit kind of sickly, they're a little bit um, overly saturated for my liking. Um, I would have loved that if it was a bit flatter, a little bit more um, kind of lower contrast between the colours. But it might just be a case of using it in the right scenario. So this image as well um, is another one that kind of balance between the bright blue door and then the white white building around it. Um, I was really happy with how this came out. Um, it may just be that maybe blues come out really nice on this film. They come out more how I uh, expect, whereas the greens in the photograph of the tree, um, not really the sort of tones that I like. This one again, slightly more muted tones. Um, I really like this image. I think it's quite simple, but it works.
So all in all, um, pretty happy with, with how this went, pretty happy with the film. Um, it's not my favourite film I've ever shot. I don't think it's going to become a new standard go-to. Um, it still isn't going to replace something like Portrait. But definitely for a cheaper film stock, for something where I'm not quite sure about using expensive roller film, something where I just want to chuck a roll through a camera, test something out, um, I'll definitely go for it. And if I want something with a bit more saturation, something a little bit punchy, um, I'll definitely keep, keep some rolls of this film around. It's worth noting, this probably isn't the most scientific test. Don't take those 10 photos I shared as kind of an absolute representation of how this film looks. Uh, I did tweak the files, I did scan them the way I like, I did play around with them a little bit. Um, it was more to kind of experiment with the film myself. But the takeaway is, I definitely recommend it. If you like a more saturated film, if you want something a bit more affordable, go and grab some Lomography film. Um, have a go, try it out. Uh, you probably won't be too disappointed. Amazing. Hope you enjoyed the video, hope it was helpful. Thanks.